Hoops Classic brought to you by It's a Bucket. I'm here with the MVP from the first game, the Rising Stars women, Micaiah Simmons. Micaiah, how does it feel to be selected to this game? Um, it feels good just to know that people recognize me and that um, that people could see my game in person, like people from far, far away that never seen me play in person could come out and see me play and I could get highlights and stuff like that. So it's good, it's good exposure. Absolutely. And what's it like playing with some of these girls that you've never even met before? Um, it feels good getting to make uh, new friendships, getting to know people from all around because you never, like people, some of them probably didn't even know me and I didn't even know some of them. So it's good to get a connection with people and build an ally with people. Absolutely. And it looks like you guys are gelling out there and you're really cooking. Yeah, definitely the most stare downs out of everybody in that first game. You got to let them know, right? Yeah, I have to. I have to let them know. It looks like you, you had injured your knee there in the third quarter. How are you feeling so far? Um, I'm still in a lot of pain, but I'm just facing adversity right now. I got to think, I have to think of the positive and, you know, get back, bounce back. Yeah, bounce back. Hey, we hope you're doing all right. And uh, how, how excited are you uh, to be out here after ha taking a year off from COVID? Uh, well... It feels, it feels good, ready to get back in the gym, you know, yeah. What, were you able to practice at all and stay in shape during COVID? Uh, yes, but recently I just came back from Texas, so it's like my, I've been up there for a week and I just flew in yesterday, so I haven't been on the court or touched the ball in a while, so it just feels good to be on the court and just doing my thing. Yeah, well you could have fooled us, you were looking great out there, you know, saw some people up, hitting some threes taking it to the rim. Yeah. Uh, let's talk college. Do you have any uh, prospects, any colleges you're looking at? Uh, yes, uh, Bethune, Cookman, and Barry University are my two offers. Uh, but you know, my recruitment is still open. So I'm just, trust the process. Yeah, what you got, two, two more seasons left underway to, to show the world what Makai Simmons has to bring. Um, again, we're brought to you by It's a Bucket, here with the MVP of the first game. Uh, the Rising Star MVP. And Micaiah, are you going to stay and stick around and watch the rest of these games? Uh, if I'm not in pain, yeah. All right. Thank you for your time, Micaiah. And we'll be right back after this break.
Coming to you live from Spring Hill, Florida at Bishop McLaughlin High School in the Tampa Bay region of West Florida, this is the City of Hoops Classic presented by It's a Bucket, City of Hoops, and BayAreaSports.com on the Florida Athletics Network. My name's Alfonso McCree Jr. alongside KJ. We are excited, ecstatic to present you this Senior Girls Basketball Classic here. We just saw the Rising Stars Classic. What's your reaction to that game and what are you expecting from this game currently? Well, the sad end in that game is when some player get cut it off. It's not what you want to see, especially in a game like this. But it's very exciting. You know, these seniors get one more chance to see the floor. And, and that game was very competitive. And I think we're going to see the same out of this game here. You know, these seniors looking for one final chance to prove themselves. A lot of these kids going to good schools, which we're going to talk about later on. But just really excited to see these two, these two teams get going. Absolutely. And we're almost ready for tip off here as we are in for what makes to be a great matchup. Tip off goes to Team White. Oh. And it will stay on that side. White is home. Red is away here in this matchup. And just from this jump, we see it. Jalen Mur Murray driving in, being aggressive. That aggressiveness. Paying off early. Inbound pass is stolen. And Team Red will work it up the court. Oh, what a save there. Off to the wing, the three is up, the three is no good, it's an air ball, it's rebounded by. Here's Omira Taylor bringing up the court. Keep an eye on her today. The drive, the mid-range jump shot, you don't see that much anymore in today's game and a foul is drawn there. I just mentioned Omira there, one of the best players out here today, obviously. One of the best Every, ones. Everybody here very talented, but Going to Florida State, 31st ranked in the nation, and she's going to be putting on a show here today. She's a baller, isn't she? Yeah, she dealt with an injury earlier this season, a uh, foot injury, which she kept her up for a while, ankle injury. Uh, so it's unfortunate, but, you know, she's good, happy to be playing here today, obviously, getting one final chance to draw from high school before heading to Florida State, just nearby. A lot of great players on this court today, including the one with the ball right now, Amari Goodwin. She's averaging 10.4 points per game out of Brooks DePartalo High School. A three is up, a three is good. That's Kendall Chessman. 17.9s per game at Plant High School this season. Vanderbilt come in as well. Oh, oh look at that. <laughs> got a wedgie, wedgie. Shout out to the starters. Oh, and the Oh, look at Coach running onto the court, lending the helping like hand, that That's showing off his vertical. Listen, that was just an excuse to show off his vertical. We've seen anything from this coach today. He has a lot of energy, so he's going to be getting up there for any more wedgies to happen. Now, Lejean showing off the moves, in and out. Oh, up. oh almost an and one. Nyla Jean. We're going to see a lot of stuff like that today. Nyla Jean also at Plant High School, averaging 16.6 points per game. You can see why that in and out move right there. Yeah, she just played in the FACA All-Star game now just a few weeks ago, just now here today in the City Hoops Classic. It's been busy. These basketball tournaments, these high school basketball tournaments, they're there all the time. You gotta be committed and all these girls are. Both free throws good. Look at the kicks on Gordon there, huh? Bright yellow kicks. She's rocking them today. So what can you usually expect from an all-star game, KJ? We're not going to see something really fundamental here today. We're going to see people trying to put their talents and their skills on display because this is a big game showcasing some of the best talent out of this Tampa Bay region. Well, you know, usually we see that, especially at the higher levels, but these girls today in the early game, and so far here today, they, they're not taking this, you know, they're not taking this uh, lightly. They're playing aggressive out there. They're playing hard. They're playing a win. And you can see it right from the jump, and, and that's what's really been uh, stood out to me so far is that we're going to see some some real serious basketball. This isn't you know this isn't layups and you know no defense out here. They're playing hard. That's going to be a travel. And you know one of the reasons that is is because this is a great chance to showcase like as far as you know and these are seniors so they're they're most for most of these seniors their college plans are solidified. Some aren't still, but you know besides that this is a chance to showcase in front of a, a, a big audience, a lot of scouts that you know are going to be watching you know, more so than their normal high school games because these are all the best players, all in one place. So it's a great chance to stand out. Absolutely. You can tell there's a little bit of early nerves between all the players on both sides. 
Oh, great spin move there. Oh, my goodness. Spin we'll cycle spin. and one. And one. That's Trinity Youngblood. Great last name, by the way. Youngblood. I mean, Absolutely. for a basketball player of any kind, Trinity Youngblood. I'm, I'm calling it right now best name in this game. Best name maybe in this entire tournament, <laughs> Trinity Youngblood. If, if she's she's the MVP for names at least, okay. I don't know what the, how the game's gonna turn out. She gets uh, start, start off well, Lily, obviously with and one, but you gotta get you gotta give her that much. Absolutely. Number seven, Brianna McClinton will come into the game. Number eight, Cassie Jones will make her way out. Free throw from Youngblood is good to go. Isabella Prada on the deck to come in for Team Red. Let's see if Amari can get her team going. Another three-pointer up. This one's off. Rebounded by Nyla Jean. That's the, oh, nice find. Nice find. Amari Goodwin to Trinity Youngblood. That was, that was actually Jalen Murray that scored that bucket. Oh, I'm sorry, I made a mistake, I'm sorry. I was Oh, that's, that's got to be a carry, does it? No, they don't call anything. But Team Red takes the ball back anyway. Another beautiful pass. Amari Goodwin really putting her, uh, her court vision on display so far in this first quarter. Another and one. Okay, so the fouls are really flying around in this game so far. Number six, Jay Murray out of Winter Haven High School. Averaging 9.9 .9 points per game, 5.9 rebounds, 2.3 steals. Doing the work on the offensive and defensive end. Just to say, I think we had a mix up early on with the names. Apologies for that. But. Free throw's good. I mean, these, these uniforms are all new. They all got the uniforms today, so it's lots to sort out right before game time. <laughs> this is Isabella Prada. Now, we talked about this before the game. Now with Jean's off for three. Rebounded by Team White. Oh my goodness, oh the ankles. Oh. Team Red being very stiff with the defense here. But Team White still gets one to go as Jasmine Peaks puts it in. It's a great handle shown off there by Jasmine Peaks. Team Red working the ball inside. Mid-range jump shot is no good. Jasmine Another three-point attempt. That one's off as well. Good save. Saved, and here's Nyla Jean keeping a handle of the ball. 12-7, Team Red leading. Cheyenne Stubbs on deck for Team White. There we go, there we go. It'll be Cheeseman going to the line. Kendall Cheeseman at the line. Again, Plant High School, all stats above the national average. 17.9 points per game, 9.7 rebounds a game. Almost three assists and almost three steals a game and almost two blocks. So she's doing it all on the court for her team. Yeah. Her and Nyla out there, number one, teammates, both state champions. Getting it done on the court together today. There we go, there we go, go ahead, go ahead. Amara Gordon sporting the bright neon yellow Adidas today. I told you, I'm giving Youngblood the, the MVP for the name, but Gordon gets the, the MVP for the kicks. For the kicks, those man, got nice. to, got to. I love the colorful kicks. I see a few of them out there today. Oh, oh nice still, kick. still nice still there by Jalea Williams. Going in transition, Williams wow. pushing the pace, gets and it up. Mid-range jump shot is good, Amara Gordon. She could have taken that layup, but an unselfish play, getting it to Gordon open, obviously, again, 
when Florida State, you can trust her to hit that shot. Which so. is nice to see in an all-star game, right? Yeah, because absolutely. in an all-star game, people are usually looking to get their highlight plays, they're usually looking to get their stats, but it's nice to see unselfish plays still in the uh, in the game here. Absolutely, and she pushed the she pushed the pace well, well there, and got uh, you know put the pressure on the defense, had the pack of paint. All right, with a nice little mid-ranger, easy. Absolutely. Now LaJean knocks down her first free throw. One of, if not the best point guard in the state, is what one scout said online. Ooh, nice drive, and, and oh. one! Adina Davis out of Chamberlain High School. Yeah. You hear her lauded for her length. I mean, she's the tallest player on the court right now. Very active out there. Had a thousand points at Chamberlain High. Yeah, she, she, she towers over a lot of the players on the court, as you were saying. Uses that height to her advantage in a really skillful way. Absolutely. One scout said her offensive game has yet to be developed. I couldn't tell right there on that one. <laughs> Jalen Murray failed to cover on that offensive rebound chance. Going all the way! That's Trini Youngblood. That's a good one. As Youngblood draws another foul, tell us what makes these types of games so exciting, KJ. I mean, we have the best of the best on the court here that West Florida has to offer. Why, why should people be tuning into these games? What, what makes them so special? Well, I think you just said it. I mean, mo for most of these high school games, you know, you might get a chance, you know, yeah, you can turn in Gordon's game, you're gonna see Gordon play. She has some good teammates too, but this is the best of the best. This is where you're gonna see everybody come together. And this is where the best kind of have to rise to the top. And all these girls, you know, they, they, it's, it's really an interesting concept because as you said, you know, you're playing in this game where you want to put up stats, you want to prove you're the best. But uh, just as, as important as that is scouts being able to see, you know, you will play unselfish. When you're on a team with great players, you will pass the ball because you don't want it. You don't want someone that's going to try to dominate, and show out, show up everyone else, and not play team basketball. So um, the fact that these girls, you're seeing them do that, and you know, I think that it's just it's a great place to watch the best basketball, your best high school basketball you're going to get in all of Florida. And this is that these kind of showcases are, are you know the special place where you can get that that elite elite high school basketball. Absolutely. Second free throw was good. To see what Gordon does here with her team down six at the end of the first quarter. Oh, Gordon going coast to coast and another, but we're seeing so many fouls in this game so far. People, Eight total so far in this game. We're just in the first quarter. Yeah, people are playing aggressive, and you see there, and Gordon, the team down six goes right to the basket. She's not, she's not messing around. She doesn't want that deficit to get any bigger than it is right now. Nothing coming easy here in this showcase of a game. First three throw is good. I want to give a quick shout out to the Dan Patrick School of Sports Casting at Full Sail University in Winter Park, Florida, for bringing us here and allowing us to call this game today for you all at home on the Florida Athletics Network. Second free throws off, but rebounded by Team White, puts it back up and in. And that's going to be Chamara Aleonia. Sorry, excuse me, Alaranya. Tennessee State commit. Oh, there's Gordon with the steal. Again. And you mentioned Tennessee State commit as the layup is finished on the other end I mean, by what, Gordon. What you, mentioned, you, mentioned, you mentioned uh, Tennessee State. A lot of HBCU commits in the last few years by a lot of uh, a, a lot of players of color. And I think that's a trend that we're seeing. We saw Master P's son commit to Tennessee State as well the other day. And if you know anything about Master P, he was a baller himself playing in high school. Not only that, but being an entrepreneur, businessman, a millionaire, just did, did it all. And now his son, who could have gone to any school in the nation, is going to Tennessee State. We're seeing a trend going in that direction of HBCU commits. It's well, good to saw, see. We saw, of course, the NBA All-Star Game feature that heavily as part of their their uh, efforts and, and you know donations that they made. So I think that was a big part of that as well. And you know, it's, it's definitely it's helping out the schools a lot. But uh, peaks with the save there, nice save. Call her out of bounds. Defense swarming all over the place for both sides. It's a 17 to 14 game. It's gonna 
in my opinion, stay close for a pretty long time the way these two defenses are playing. Gordon's getting a breather now. Kick outside to the wing. Thought about the three, did not take it. Trying to bring it inside, but Prada, nice help defense right there. And forces a miss. They're, they're swarming peaks out there. And another foul. Man, this, this is a chippy game. Nine fouls so far in this game. And this will send Cassie Jones to the line. Santa Fe Catholic High School, right? 13 and a half points per game, 7.2 rebounds, five assists, almost three steals a game, and almost one block per game. And she'll be going to Mercer next year. So another, another great uh, college for another one of these players. Find a lot of great, great homes play their collegiate basketball. Love to see. Both free throws are off. Dribble! Come on, can you get dribble? Jalea Williams driving the lane, dishes it out. Nice find right there. Tamara again. A clock issue there, but you know, we'll add another 15 seconds on this game. Why not? 15 more seconds of basketball. I'll take that. <laughs> I'll take that in a showcase game like this. Oh, nice up and oh. under. Oh, almost an M1. Almost a great finish by Nyla Jean. Great move. Getting to go with reverse there. First free throw was good. KJ, what are you most looking forward to tonight? I mean, we have this game, which has already turned out to be a banger, with physical play, fouls drawn, people taking it to the rack. But we also have a three-point contest. Yeah, I'm, dunk I was contest. just gonna say, I'm always a sucker for the three-point contest and the dunk contest. I want to see how those go, honestly. But I'm, I'm excited for everything. I mean, all these games are gonna be really, really great. Another foul. <laughs> these refs are not eating the whistle today. They, nope. they are calling everything. Absolutely not. This is a real game. This is not. <laughs> this is not, you know, your typical again, like. Messing around, nobody's messing around here. Everybody came to play. So KJ, question: What what do you do if every player fouls out of the game today? <laughs> I'll jump in if you want me to. I can I can play. I don't know. They'll probably break my ankles, but uh, I'll give it a shot. <laughs> Let's get our buddies Chris and Darren into the game. Yeah, Chris played maybe. played basketball for about 15 years and did an amazing job calling the Rising Stars Girls Showcase game right before this one. The first quarter will end with the score 18 to 17. We saw a lot of physical play. Are you expecting any adjustments in the second half? I mean, not the second half, the second quarter, rather, between these two teams. Uh, I expect one of these coaches to go up to the refs and tell them to stop calling so many fouls. <laughs> we have a time limit here. We have like we have so many more events to get to today. We can't be we can't be slowing down. Skip to us. The first coaches game went to OT that we didn't even broadcast. <laughs> like enough of the fouls. Just let him play a little bit. You know, I, like don't let anybody get hurt. We just saw someone get hurt in the last game. We don't want to see anything like that. Absolutely. If anything, just tell the players, hey, just stop just stop smacking everybody. We don't, we don't you know as much as we don't want to see anybody hit or any fouls. We don't want to see anybody foul out either, as you said. So like you might, I, I don't want to have to go into this game. Okay, Gordon. Gordon, Gordon will like, she will flatten, I will fall, she will embarrass me, okay? I don't want to have to guard Gordon. You, you right? don't want to go out there and get your ankles no. broken today? No, I don't want to have to do that. I wasn't prepared for that. Well, you know, you have on the right shoes, so <laughs> hey, if we need to go in, we will, but hey, hopefully I, we won't. Look, look, I'm not going to let Gordon show me up completely on the shoe game, okay? I mean, she's wearing flight kicks. I don't know how, I don't know what, what shoes those are, but I, I love them. They're, they're green neon shoes. I, I, had to, I had to wear something that was a little, you know, we're both rocking the reds, you know, so. I mean, you know, you, you, you can't just show up to a basketball game in dress shoes. I'm not going to do that. Come on. If I do need to shoot a basketball, I'm somewhat ready. But I, I'm not ready to go against this level of competition. Well, obviously, I had to bring out the 11s today because <laughs> I, I needed to match the spirit of what was going on as we resume here in the second quarter. Eight-minute quarters, ladies and gentlemen. Eight-minute quarters. We'll play four of them. So three by Chilea Williams is pure. She doesn't care about a defender in her face. Again, one of the late additions to this roster is going to the University of Miami. So another great player as I would get to Post entry pass a little off there. Pass right there, too strong. Coach Jack was just saying their bad angle. He didn't like that uh, decision there, but Gordon dishes it inside. Again, physical play. Jump ball. These ladies not giving an inch. 
possession arrow goes to the red there, so red's gonna get it. No jump possession balls. Arrow. I, I would have jumped it up. You know, I, I want to see. The, I want to see a little jump ball. I hate that they don't do that in college and, and high school. I, I, I also would prefer that the possession arrow be taken out of the game, but unfortunately, I'm not on the board of rules for the NCAA You're or not? the high Are school you sure? athletic association. You're not, <laughs> And they keep getting to try to get that entry pass into Cheeseman. It's just that they're not getting that, the execution they want on that. They're trying to get some post touches. Well, they should. Trying to get the ball out of the three point line. Passing around the wing. Trying to make it inside, but the defense again is stifling. Ooh. Oh, a cutter. Okay. Oh, a yellow step. Oh. I don't know if that was doing a little too much. She looked like she had an open lane. She went a little quick there. So I think she did go for the Euro step. I don't know. A foul was called. I didn't see it, but the ref did. And that's why they have that job, and she I have this one. Still, she put a little screw on that finish. Almost got the spin up there. That was, that was still a nice move. Amari Godwin's been around this court yeah. everywhere. Everywhere today. Oh, she's lauded for her quickness and her tenacious defense. So people I mean, but it's not just the quickness with her with her physical body, right? It's the quickness with her mind. She's her court vision has been outstanding today. Well, she's also just fast. She's also just really fast. Ooh. Gordon gonna take the three, gonna knock it down. And she has a seal there. My good. I mean, come on. <laughs> oh, oh my she's going to pull it again. Oh, oh. my goodness. It oh, my goodness. That one almost got us. I, I mean. <laughs> if she would have knocked that one down, that would have got us out of our I seat. I would have lost it. I would have lost it. Someone's got a steal there, too. She's, she's on oh, the look at the ball movement. You love to see it. Oh, you got to finish that one. But they do get the rebound. They're going to reset. Yeah, they got to slow it down here. Another three-pointer. No good. Ooh. Oh, Jalea Williams. Did, did you see how she caught the ball? It's like she didn't even care that the defender was right there. She does miss the three. Yeah, Godwin gamble for the steal there, but doesn't doesn't uh, hurt him. Top of the key, three-pointer. Good. It's good. It's Jayla Murray. What do you get here? Stoppage. I think there's a there's a pole on the end of the baseline they're trying to get out of the way. A mop. What is that? Oh, it's a mop. Oh, maybe they're just trying to wipe some, some sweat up somewhere. Yeah. Yep. I think Cheeseman fell in that last play, and they just wanted to make sure the court was clean. Again, we don't want to see any injuries here. So. Yeah. Absolutely not. Ref's definitely being conscious of that. It's a good job by the ref to spot that too and stop the game. And now we resume play. Got one for three. My goodness. He's eating up a My bit. goodness. He's taking over a little bit. Gordon, Gordon takes the screen. No dice. Williams thought about pulling it. Decides not to. Starts to go to work. Drives the lane. Kicks it back out. Mid range. Couldn't get the shooters bounce right there. Swarming the defense the ball. is just ridiculous. Oh! Working again. Doesn't quit. Gets it up and in. That's some inspiring basketball there by Adina Davis. Cheyenne Stubbs getting ready to come back into the game for Team White. Prada and Jean coming in for Team Red here in a minute as well. Oh, Godwin, what a move. Oh, she's got a finish. Oh, it rolls off of the rim. Jalea Williams getting her own rebound. They're going to say that ball went off of Gordon. You know what? I, I just asked Isabella if I could nickname her the Devil because the Devil wears Prada, and I just realized she she probably she probably barely has any idea what that movie is. <laughs> but anyway, the, the idea is her last name is Prada. Men, man. She's we're old she's, men. she's she's too she's too much to handle on the court. Okay, 
and, and she's wearing red out there, and you know, it's just it's it, it comes together, it comes all together. You Fitting, know? right? I mean, that that is a perfect nickname. Oh man, what a shot! What a shot by Jasmine Peaks. That's oh, up to Prada. She's got a clear lane. She's gonna take it. Oh. Good defense there by Davis. Looks like that could have been a foul. Davis using her length to disrupt that shot. Could give her the Tasmanian double. I don't know how Tasmanian would work into there, but I feel like Tasmanian double is a little more, a little more fitting. Ooh, a little bit oh, of man, miscommunication. miscommunication. Yeah. Thirty to twenty-three lead for you know, Team White here. Full court press. That's a block. That was going to be on Youngblood. So now we have fourteen total fouls <laughs> in this game so far. Okay. All right. You don't usually see this many fouls in a showcase game. They're they're really just playing in a different way. Yeah. They're playing aggressive out there. Ball passed into the post. Defense swarming and again. Guess what just happened? Guess another foul. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Peaks gonna inbound here. Inbound again by Peaks. Davis takes this one. Davis gonna shoot it from the top of the key. Oh, what a play. What a play. Oh, man. I got to give a standing ovation for that one. Cheyenne Stubbs. Good awareness right there, throwing it off of a defender and getting the ball back for Team White. Great hustle play. Stubbs looking like she wants to work. Okay. Goes inside, kicks it back out. A three. Jamara can't hit. Prada mid range jumper. No dice. Davis with the rebound, and Prada, no, oh wow, they're gonna call a travel right there. I thought that was a foul on Prada, but. Draw the charge, they say Davis traveled right there before the foul came. I wonder if these jerseys are Prada. <laughs> you don't think so? No, I don't think that's in the budget. It's a nice finish right there by Kendall Cheeseman. And if Isabella Prada ever makes it to the WNBA, she's got to come decked out in Prada, like the whole, like when they do those those. Oh walk yeah, the press conferences and you know, walk-ins no, 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 and all yeah, of that yeah, stuff. All the yeah, You know, the walk-ins the WNBA posts through the tunnel walks, and they have all the players in their fits. Like she's got to come decked out in Prada. Prada again with the mid-range. She knocks it down this time. So you see Team Red now instituting a full court press. I got so much good stuff. I don't know if it should burn it now. Oh I mean, man, what I'm a jumper! I'm just gonna tell you, if she crosses someone up in this in this game, we're gonna call that dancing with the devil, okay? Because that's, that's, that's okay, okay, <laughs> okay. This nickname it, it writes itself. These lines write themselves. Prada, another right jumper. Davis oh, taking it up the court. You don't see her doing that very often, but she did it that time, got it stolen. And a layup on the other end by Nala Jean. Prada with the assist there. Stubbs deciding to slow it down, takes the three. It's good. Stubbs playing with a lot of energy out there. Oh my goodness! Oh! Wow. Okay, young and blood. one. Nice up and under right there. Trinity Youngblood again, a great name. And can, I can I can say okay, young blood <laughs> after he hits the shot like that. Like that's awesome. That I know you awesome. you've been waiting all game to say that, haven't you? Kind of, yeah. Two fifteen left in the second quarter. Longest like twenty five minutes of my life. Should have been sixteen <laughs> minutes, but the refs are calling all these fouls. <laughs> Close game here. Be a good one. I said I told you earlier the coaches game there went to OT. I want to see this one go to OT. I want to see at least see someone who game one. 
Yeah, see, that, that very first, the coach's game started off with a lot of missed shots. Yeah, and then know. it turned into one team having a huge lead, the other team battled back within two minutes left to go in the game. And we had a photo finish. We'll see if that's the same thing in this game. Is that one? Oh, oh. wow, they didn't call a foul right there. That's surprising. I think Stelz was looking for that one. And she Don't takes the ball back. She says, you're not going to give me the ball. I will take it back myself. Told you, Stubbs just the energy. And I look the double team in her, and they get away with it. And Stubbs gets the ball stolen from her by Godwin, who makes a layup on the other end. Look at this trap defense for team. It's a one-point game here in Spring Hill, Florida. Uh, we call him kick. Got some substitutions here. Again, this is the City of Hoops Classic presented by It's a Bucket, City of Hoops, and BayAreaSports.com on the Florida Athletics Network. I'm Alfonso McCree Jr., joined here by KJ, and we're happy to bring this game to you today. As Stubbs takes a corner three, no good, rebounded easily. Oh, I love that up and under move. Couldn't think, finish, though. I think she paused a little bit there because she thought she heard a whistle. I thought I heard a whistle, too. I thought I heard yeah. a little bit of something, too. She could also pause because she couldn't believe she was that wide open. <laughs> that happens to a lot of players. It really does. I like how Godwin's playing. She's playing with a lot of energy, too. Pushing the pace, driving in a lot. Oh, Gordon's getting right up into her on that. Ooh. Oh, nice defense there. Williams says, you're not going to do that to me. Gordon looking to go to work. Gordon kicks it out. Williams drives the lane back to Gordon. I know it didn't result in anything, but that was great off-ball movement by Gordon. It was. Immediately passing off, running straight to the corner. Could have got an open look there. It was great defense, though, too. Post came using the strength. Up and in. That's Jayla Murray again. Oh, Jayla Williams, she's just been all over the place, man. I'm telling you. And she's going to pull up for a three, and she is going to miss that one. But the up, ah. Gordon taking it out. Man, the effort today, they, they're not sliding us with effort. No. Some of these shots aren't yeah. going through as that one is dribbled off of the leg by yeah. Jalea Williams. And she's laughing at herself <laughs> yeah, about that one. <laughs> Oh, that three is in and out. It's a tough one. Mm. Seven seconds left to go in the game Half in the second back. quarter. Oh, oh, oh my God, what a pass. Oh, oh man. Man. my goodness. Oh, I, man. <laughs> Omira Gordon is unreal. She is. She is. It's 39-34 here at the end of the first half. We've had a great game so far with a lot of fouls. KJ, what is your reaction to the first half, and what are you expecting here in the second half? All right, that was a fun half of basketball. You know, it really was. Uh, a, lot, a lot of going back and forth, a lot of pressing in that half, which yeah. I'm surprised about. But even still, you know, I expect to see a lot of the same in the second half. I mean, I don't know how we could get any more energy than they're already playing. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. But Unless they just foul it out of each other, you know. <laughs> I mean, it's certainly possible. But, yeah, I mean, if, if, if the second half is anything like that first half, we're in for another treat. Absolutely. Again, you're watching the City of Hoops Classic presented by It's a Bucket, City of Hoops, and Bay Area Sports. This is the Florida Athletics Network. We will be back for the second half.
Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with Coach Jackson, and I want to get your thoughts on the first half. There were a lot of fouls called in that first half. You don't typically see that in a showcase game like this. What's your opinion on that? Uh, I, I just think the referees are trying to keep the girls safe um, and, you know, and decide to, to prevent injuries. Uh, but, you know, as far as for us, uh, defense was a big key for us to not play, I guess. But um, when we start to play some defense, we start to get a little bit of runs. So that's going to be the key for the whole second half. Play D, and then when we got the ball, we're going to score. And that's how it is. Thank you, Coach Jackson. Appreciate right, your time. Yes, Welcome back to the City of Hoops Classic. We are here for the second half as Jalea Williams tosses up a three and knocks it down. This is presented by It's a Bucket, City of Hoops, and BayAreaSports.com here on the Florida Athletics Network. I'm Alfonso Fabri Jr. here with KJ from the Dan Patrick School of Sportscasting at Full Sail University. KJ, what are you expecting from this second half? As we already saw Jalea Williams knock down the three, she looked like she was going to take another one right there. Well, you see fast pace, and I'm expecting oh, a lot of that. One. I'm expecting a lot of Gordon. That's what I'm expecting. <laughs> I'm expecting Gordon to just take over like she is right now. And they go the back-to-back threes. They're up 11 now. So this team really, this this game rather really getting away from Team Red here. Quickly, yeah. Oh, that was almost a travel. The three is lofted up, and the three is no good. 
I want to see Gordon go for a kill here. I just want to see her pull up. She's too unselfish. She's not going to. Oh, that was a great pass. Oh, good pass. And that one's stolen. It was a little long, maybe. But it was a good idea. It was the right idea. Is he right coming the other way? Oh, the bounce pass. It. That Kendall Cheeseman was not ready for. Yeah. Good think, idea, I though. Think, I think uh, was Godwin wanted to cut there. She just wasn't ready for it. Now. Or that was... Uh, Young blood, yeah, I wanted to cut there. Just wasn't ready for that cut. Just going to the corner. Williams again with a three. Oh, that one's in and out. Yeah, Team Red's really got to get control of this game. Oh, good entry pass. Ugh. The layup is no good. Team football. White brings it the other way. Kick out, corner three, no good. So we're seeing a lot more threes taken here in this uh, yeah. in the second half. Do you think it's a change of philosophy, or do you think uh, they just want to stretch the floor a little bit? I think they're tired of getting fouled every time they drive into the basket. <laughs> <laughs> I think that might have something to do with it. Gordon. Timeout call by Team Red is... Team Gordon. White has gotten out to a really quick start here. Yeah, Gordon up to a game high, 13 points now. So she is doing what we expect her to do, really. So Coach Jackson said at uh, at halftime that he's looking to get better defense out of his team, less fouls. How do you think they need to do that? Well, you know, I think what I mean. Part of what we're seeing now is that the game flow is kind of. Uh, result, doing that for them. I mean, you know, they, again, with these, with the kind of threes they're, they're doing, and their offense has really translated to make it easier on them on defense because they hit those two quick threes, and you can see Team Red, they felt a little bit, uh, you know, they felt a little rushed there. They were, you know, it was a nerve setting. So all of a sudden you go down 11, and, you know, you feel like, hey, we were in some trouble here. We needed to get this game back in, in hand. And uh, so, so that was helping them out. But um, we'll see after a timeout, they could be settled down here a little bit. Oh, Captain great save saved. by Brada. Nice save right there. Mid-range jump shot. It's off. Front rim. Alligator arm. That one a little bit. I can't. Oh, my goodness. Williams from Gordon. Euro great step. Euro step. Oh, Great Euro step by Williams. And the way Gordon maneuvered in traffic there, there were five people around there. She settled down. She found a way around. Then she looks up. She keeps her eyes up the court and finds Williams for that layup. And that's, that's a great play. A three is good. Okay. God, God we're not backing down, man. We're trying to get him back in this game. I'm bringing him back within 12 now. It's a 12 point game with five minutes left to go in the third quarter here. Oh, Passing seeing that one more time. Back to the wing, corner three again. Can I just Good say, this can time. I, can I say how much I love that possession? Like, that's what we're talking about with the ball movement in this game. Nobody being. Like, that was unselfish basketball right there that led to a great look. Oh, step back. Oh, that was a foul. Late whistle, but an obvious call right there. You could hear the slap from over here. Yeah, you could. Now Legina go to the line. Is that the first foul of the second half? I believe it is. How about that? Well, look at that. Miracle. <laughs> first three throw. In and out. Bad luck. I think I like the fouls better. I want them back. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry to the fouls for, for being mean to them earlier. I, I actually, actually made for a really great game, you know? <laughs> Keeping things close. Second free throw is knocked down. It's now a 14 point game. My goodness. Stubbs. Oh my. Back to Gordon. Oh, she couldn't corral it. Some of these one handed passes Gordon is making, I'm just like in awe. I'm like, oh my goodness. We saw these girls are in this game for a reason. All of them bring a particular skill set to the game, but we've really seen Gordon take over as well as Williams so far. And Stubbs trying to make her uh, her statement in the game so far. Not as effective as Gordon and Williams have been, but she has been on the court trying to make plays. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, Godwin oh, now trying to There she is playing great defense. A three-pointer is up, and it is too short. Okay, okay. I see Williams getting that rebound, saving it from out of bounds. I respect it. I respect it. Davis has made a big impact in this game so far as well with her defensive prowess. Oh, great rebound by Youngblood. 
Jasmine Peak, she's been trying to get that three-point shot going today. Hasn't had the best of luck, but she's not afraid to keep shooting and missing. She has all the confidence in the world. I think Youngblood should have kicked that out. Prada wanted it in the corner. She was open. I don't, I don't blame her for driving in traffic. She's a great finisher, but... Williams, another Euro step, another and one. Wow. We're going to get Cheeseman and Jones coming in on this free throw attempt. KJ, how is, how is Williams doing all of this today? I mean, she's been inside, she's been outside. She's been scoring in traffic. I mean, what is she doing that's really separating her from the pack today? I mean, she's one of the best players out there. It's, you know, it's no debate about it. She's going to University of Miami for a reason, and she's showing it on display there. Ooh. I thought that was a clean block. The refs didn't think so. I'm never not going to complain about the fouls. If there's not enough fouls, I'm going to complain about it. <laughs> if there's too many fouls, I'm going to complain about it. <laughs> and that's always going to be the way it's going to be. There's never the, there's ne the, the right amount of fouls does not exist. Spoken like a true ball player. Jalen Murray at the line. Sorry, not Jalen Murray. Trend the young blood. First free throw. No good. Substitution for Team White is Jayla Murray. Out comes Davis. Cassidy Jones comes in for Team Red with Kendall Cheeseman on deck. Youngblood good on the next free throw. And she'll come out now. Give herself a breather. Peaks in the corner, the stubs. Screen set. Three from the top of the key is no good. Wide right. And here's Prada. A three by Nyla Jean is too strong. And here comes Stubbs. Will she take it all the way? No, she gives it up. Murray. And the foul okay. is drawn. Perfect by opportunity. Murray. I've been waiting to get this in. Jalen Murray going to the line. Huge Jason Tatum fan. Jalen Murray. Okay, I've been, wait I've been waiting to get this in the research for the game. Jason Tatum, you know, I'm, I'm from the Boston area. I, I love a good uh, Jason Tatum, you know, Celtics highlights, whatever you need to say. Jalen Williams, Jalen, Jalen Brown, or Jason Tatum, I should say. Uh, absolutely her best favorite. You got player. You got to wonder. They're both St. Louis natives, uh, we're in St. Louis area. You know, they both got the J's in their name. Got to I mean, Jason Tatum, great inspiration, you know, great inspiration for this girl. So. Absolutely. Good, good role model, Jason Tatum, we got to say. Excellent, in my opinion. Team Red trying to work it around the key. Nyla Jean with a great move, and she draws a foul now. Who wanted all these fouls back? Who was the guy that said that? Because it wasn't I think, me. I think that was you. No. What? I'm pretty sure it was you. I don't remember that. Yep. I think it was somebody else. I, I think it was. Uh, I think it was KJ. Yeah, it was that guy KJ. The one, no. the one on color commentary no. for this game. Couldn't have been him. Yeah. It was, uh, yeah. Well, you got your wish. So that's, that's be careful what you wish for, right there. That's, that's where that saying comes from. Okay. Because now you know we got the, we got the three point dunk contest next. If they cancel those because too many fouls, I better see. I, I want to see the ref get post drives. That's what I want to see. I want to see someone <laughs> dunk on the ref in the dunk contest. Peaks driving. Peaks is gonna take it oh. coast to coast, Ooh. and she can't finish. See, where's the foul on that? Pass inside, too strong. And you know, something I'm noticing here, these girls, they don't play on the same high school team, you know, again, this is a showcase game. And, that, you know, I think that's led to a few miscommunication plays. Yeah, no, so no time to develop team chemistry. Yeah, yeah, uh, and I think we've seen that a little bit show in this game. And it's tough because a lot of these players want to play on selfish basketball, but it's hard when you don't know your teammates that well and, and you don't uh, have that familiarity with each other. Stubbs inside. No good, no good from Chamara. Prada driving the baseline up, no good. good Rebound, back. up and in. Good put back by Cheeseman. Kendall Cheeseman. 
Two minutes left in this quarter now. Williams back in the game. Team Red's got to get back in this game, and I'll tell you who's going to do it. Godwin's going to do it. Godwin's going to get him back in this game. She's just that good. Williams she's just pulling it from anywhere. She was a last-minute addition to this game, and yeah. she's come in and just completely taken it well, over. Oh, she's really, really good. She has. Right about that. Here's Nyla Jean, by the way. Ooh. Ooh. Williams has come out here and made a statement of, you guys should have had me in this game in the, in the first place. What yeah. took you guys so long to put me in this well, game? I don't, we don't know the circumstances which you would put in. She could have just, they could have just, she might have said no at first, and someone else said no, and she was like, all right, actually, I can play. You know, we don't know, but obviously she's a really good player. I mean, she's going to University of Miami. That's that's a great school to be going to play basketball at, so. Yeah, again, again that's that miscommunication. Yeah. It's been a little bit rough. It's been a little bit rough. Here comes Godwin in the game. It's a 15-point game here in the third quarter with a Prado. minute left. All right. 15-point game now. No, maybe we can see a big fourth quarter comeback. I wouldn't rule it out. It's, it's always possible. It's always possible. We saw one earlier today in that coach's game, so. Don't count this game I'm out just you. because the score is a 15-point game. Red team, as you can see, is clearly not giving up. Can I just say again that coach's game was the greatest game that no one will ever see? No one will ever see no that game. We'll see it. know the story of it, though. It was fantastic. Yeah, it was. You'll just I'll have never to take our word it. for it. We could be making it up. There could have been no coach's game for all you guys know. But I'm telling you, there was, <laughs> and it was amazing. There really was. A bunch of coaches out here. That, the coach you see for, for red team, you see him all over the court. He climbed on that the hoop to get the ball down. That guy was everywhere. She's been for three. Got it. And the comeback begins, huh, KJ? Yeah. yeah. I don't know what kind of hat he's wearing. He's wearing this, this uh, camo hat. I don't know. How, I don't know about that. I don't know how I feel about the camo hat. Peek's gonna dribble this one out. Don't want to give Team Red another possession here at the uh, end of the third. As Peek takes it inside, can't finish it. All right, they gotta push it. Gene trying to push it with five seconds left. A three at the buzzer. Oh, great shot. Great shot. Can we give can we give Gene some credit there? The clock awareness. The clock awareness by Nyla Jean. To know exactly how much time she has. She stops, draws the defender a little bit, gets into her teammate with just enough time to get that shot off. Brianna McClinton didn't let her down. And brings him within single digits. It's a nine-point game now. So now it's looking like a more realistic, more realistic yeah. chance of a comeback here with eight minutes to go in the fourth Good. quarter. That's Good. a long time to try to make a comeback, especially if you can bring some uh, stops uh, back to back. So yeah. what did you see in that third quarter that was different than the first two quarters? Well, look, I mean, red team came back there at the end. But one thing there about the end there was, was that Gordon wasn't in. So I, I, it's going to be tough for them to complete this comeback when Gordon's going to be on the floor in that fourth quarter. Absolutely. Because she is nasty. <laughs> okay. She's Expect the best to see her She's back proven. in this game. She's proven it. Okay. We, we we came in with high expectations for Gordon, and she has done nothing except meet them. Okay. And, exactly. and she so she's dominating this game. All you right, guys now. are once again watching the City of Hoops Classic presented by Issa Bucket, City of Hoops, and Bay Area Sports .com on the Florida Athletics Network. I'm Alfonso McCree Jr. with KJ here from the Dan Patrick School of Sportcasting at Full Sail University in Winter Park, Florida. We're in for a great finish here. Nine point game. Team Red will not quit. I wonder if you can. You think people can hear the Drake in the background or no? Because I'm lip syncing to the Drake. I think, they, I think they can. I think they can. They're jamming just like you are. I, well, I was lip syncing. Doing your mute karaoke. I'm not. I'm not going to karaoke it. I will not. Oh, did you see that hard screen over there by Williams? Yeah. Comes Gordon. Oh my gosh. Oh, great oh, defense! Goodness. Great defense! Oh my goodness! And that, oh my God! The hustle by both players. You want to talk about? You want to talk about Gordon stifling defense, Godwin right there, my yeah. goodness. I mean, Godwin, we give her respect to the defense, but both players for the hustle, and Gordon coming up with that loose ball, just great play. Great play by both players, I'll give them both credit. Okay, a little post action, okay. What are they going to call? They're gonna travel. Call foul. I mean, they're going to call a travel, sorry. They're going to call a travel. I don't know. Fine, fine. I don't love the call. I would have liked to see a foul, maybe. It was, there was an extra step right there before the foul occurred, so... A great deflection there. Godwin's trying to facilitate, but Team White's just been all over everything. Oh my God! Oh, Williams! Oh pace. wow! Good defense though, good rim protection there. Godwin lost. Oh, what are they gonna call? Oh, they're gonna call it uh, poked away by 
one of the white team players. I missed. Looks it. like it will stay with Team Red. Still a nine-point game. A minute has passed here in the fourth. No points so far in this fourth. Everybody's playing, everybody's playing hard. You know, it makes it hard to score. Cheeseman now. Mm. And that pass is blocked. Two on one situation. Stubbs makes it look easy. Back up to an 11 point game. Goblin with an opportunity here. She's going to stop and pop the three. No good. I don't She's know short. why the white team was pressing there up 11. I feel, I feel like they gave up a really good opportunity there for the red team. And that's not what you want to do with a big lead. Oh, man. Well, it paid off for them in the end. Yeah. As they get another fast break chance and convert it. Oh, Gene, what a oh, crossover. <gasps> oh. Passes off to Cheeseman. Pass him, though. Maybe should have drove on that after the dribble. Gene's going to get a chance underneath the hoop. Gene, hmm. no good. Comes to Williams. Look Williams how fast looking like she's going to take it all the way. Kicks it out to Stubbs. Stubbs for three. Good. Now 16. Back up to 16 very quickly. Things not looking good for the red team. They need to get a few stops back to back, or this one's going to be over quick. Yeah. Nice little behind the back by Godwin. They're going to call foul. Substitution. In comes Prada and Youngblood. Prada and Youngblood. Out Honestly, comes Cheeseman. I, I gave Youngblood credit for the name too, but obviously I love the name Prada as well. Because it's so easy to make. I mean, your so two favorite names coming in at the I same know, time. I know, yeah. So, so easy to, to make puns about it, you know? Oh, a three-pointer. Oh, wow, okay, pure. Okay. Cheeseman's going to get him back in this game. The technique on that shot Jordan. was outstanding. Or did they go headband now? Game. Shook her whatever. I don't remember keeping her up. I don't, I don't know. What, oh, is it charge? Okay. Good charge drawn. Cheeseman was calling for it, but Gene didn't see her. Oh. Great cut by Prada. Oh, great Prada, cut by Prada, good finish. And great vision, my, great vision there too on the assist there. And my apologies, that was Cassie Jones calling for it on the cut, but Team Red ended up scoring anyway. A three-pointer, a long one. No good. Mm, got to get that oh, she rebound. Got her own rebound, lost it again. Gene fighting for it, and Prada good comes down with push it. Push it, push it. And now Let's Team go. Red with the opportunity, two-on-one situation. Yep, nice. In the fast break layup. It's converted by Youngblood. Oh, I think they, they might have that point to the wrong team, actually. I think they gave that point to the wrong team. I think it should be a nine-point game right now. I don't know. Williams thought about three, decided not to take it. She's going to pull it now. Oh, my God. KJ, it's really hot outside. They had the AC blasting, and I was feeling real comfortable until she started shooting the ball. Now it's hot in here again. I mean, you said it right there. I don't need anything to that. Yeah, she's been on fire today. I mean, you want to talk about a dynamic duo, Williams and Gordon out there. Look at that, playing the two-man game now. Gordon's going to pull up. Gordon, oh, my. Oh, my goodness. Gordon took the, head hit the hair tie off, and now it's, it's game Williams. over. I mean, can they both go to the same school? Why do they have to be going to different schools? I don't want to see one play at the University of Miami, one play at Florida State. Can they both go to the same school? They play so well together. You'd like to see this pairing stay together. <laughs> I mean, the way they have going some tonight, type of chemistry going right here. Someone, someone out there, some recruiting agent, you know, getting. Oh my God, another three. That's clearly, that's clearly her hot spot. She loves to take the shot from there. Is the, the nickname wing. the Splash Sisters taken already, or can we give it to Gordon and Williams? Because. Gene there on the three, too. Gene with a three. What do you think of that? Splash Sisters? Gordon and uh, Gordon and Williams? Know, it's, it's not a bad nickname. I don't know if it's already taken, though. You know, after it the, might uh, be. It might be. After the brilliance of Steph and Clay, I, I think imagine, that a lot yeah. of people will want to try to take that nickname. You don't think I'll get the trademark on that? No. No, no? sir. I'm sorry. I, I I'm going to apply for it tomorrow. I'm sorry, man. 
I'm going to apply for it tomorrow, and I'll see, I'll see what happens. Well, it's a nine-point game again here with three minutes left to go. We saw in the coaches' game earlier was about a ten-point game, and they ended up coming all the way back to send the game into overtime. Yeah. So it's uh, not out of the question that the same thing could happen in this game, especially the way the Team Red has been fighting and going for this, uh, these rebounds and these 50-50 uh, these balls. But once again, you're watching the City of Hoops Classic, presented by Issa Bucket, City of Hoops, and BayAreaSports.com on the Florida Athletics Network. I don't see anybody. I looked it up. I don't see anybody with the Splash Sisters nickname. Okay, I thought some, just go ahead and hand it over I to thought them. somebody in the WNBA had it. No, it's not saying they do, so I'm giving it to Gordon and Williams right now. Okay. All right. I'm claiming it for Gordon and Williams. I mean, plenty of other things have the Splash Sisters, plenty of other results, but no WNBA duo came up, so I'm, I'm saying it's, it's free game. Is Williams going to pull another one here? I was waiting for it. I was waiting for it. Maybe she will now. Oh, let's see. She's thinking about it. She's thinking about she it so much. She is thinking about it. The coach is clearly giving her the green light. Clearly. Okay. Oh, that's a that short. was too short. Look at Godwin pushing the pace. So fast. Oh, great handle. And another foul. That crossover. So we, we went a few minutes without one. She is so quick. That crossover was ridiculous. If she makes both these free throws, it'll cut it to seven. Yeah, it would. Give them a good chance. Still a lot of work. First one's off. Still a lot of work to do no matter what she does to the line here. They need to, the, the biggest thing is getting soft. Okay? Absolutely. And, and uh, you know, it's both. I mean, they, they've because they scored pretty well today. But they just put together a few stops. I mean, there's a free the throw. second free throw was good. So I bring it to at least an eight point game. There's Gordon. Look how she's just able to stop on a dime. She's done that a few times today. It's really ridiculous. Here we go, here we go. So I like this matchup here of, of Gordon and Nyla Jean. Coach wants to. The coach was just saying, get up on her. He wants to force the ball out of her hands. He doesn't want to give her space to shoot, and that makes sense. And, and it results in a foul there. It's so not what you want, but. Williams to Gordon again. Oh, Gordon to Davis. Oh man. Oh, great strip by Godwin. Look at. Oh my goodness. All right, a bucket here would do a lot for this comeback. That one, she's been, she's been three, there. no Ooh. good. Rebound, young blood, young blood, mid-range jump shot, no good. I like both of those looks though. Those are both. I, I'm fine. Both, both solid looks. looks. She's been, 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 you know, on fire today from deep. Uh, she's hit a few good, few for there. So, um, not as on fire as you know we've seen Williams and and uh, Gordon be. But I, that's the person I would want shooting. And then that was a good look from young blood too. There's been no shortage of good shots today. It's just sometimes you get a little bit unlucky. Mm, what do they call him? Calling around. Calling her. You can call that a defensive foul. Huh. No, I think they're going to give them the ball. I think they call it. I think they call, Did it, they call it an steal. offensive. I think they maybe called it a steal, and then that uh, one of the players, whoever she stole from, pushed her down. I think that must be what happened. What? Right, up, popping up the sweat right now. Young blood, multi-talented. Multi-talented. <laughs> Look at I mean that's that's what you that's what you call effort right there, okay? That's what you call hard work and effort. She has it all. Look, she's about to do something else here. She's either gonna pass or get a bucket. Young Pull boy, up. mid range, got hey. it. Hey. So this one's not over yet. It's a six-point game with just over a minute left to go. Well, now she's getting up playing some tough defense on Williams. What do they need to do to win this game? Stop Williams. If your team red. Stop Williams and Gordon. Just stop Williams and Gordon. It's a minute left to go now. I mean, they're going to have to start trapping or something. Davis jumped into by Godwin. Oh, a travel. It's a travel. Oh, my. No foul call. There was some body-to-body -body contact there. But they don't call the foul. They call it a step. Great play by Godwin right there. Great yeah, play. Showing that hustle. Travel. So 48 seconds here. Look, it's, it's pretty simple. With no shot clock, you need a three. And you could foul if there's a bad free throw shooter out there that you want to foul, but I mean, you, you really need some quick threes here. I guess you could go for the quick layups if you want to play the free throw game, but that's a risky game with players this good. 
Gene over to the corner to Godwin. To Prada. Prada looking for a shot. Can't find one. Back to Godwin. Back to Prada. Godwin yeah, driving Godwin the lane. Nice move. And oh, there we good. go. There we go. It's a three. Mick Clinton. And we have a three-point game. Let's see if they can get a steal. Here, Bishop McLaughlin. 22 seconds now, and they got a foul going. And a foul there. It's the wrong person to foul. <laughs> I'm just going to guess. Come on, person to foul. Oh, no, no, not going to the line yet. They're going to inbound. No, 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 yeah, this is exactly what we were talking about earlier. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna go for a foul. I have to imagine with 13 seconds, another yes, quick yes, foul yes, here. Yes, yes. There we go, there we go, ladies. Thank you. Here we go. Yeah, quick foul. And uh, they're just gonna hope for two misses. These are some pressure pack free throws. Well, when are we gonna get in the bonus? How close are we to the bonus? We're almost there. We're almost there. <laughs> are you sure? We'll be there soon. <laughs> All right, there's a foul. Now we go on the line. Now we're going to one. So Williams with some two hey, big free throws first. right here. She missing the first. Oh, we got a foul out here? Someone foul out? Yeah, it looks like Godwin might have fouled out. Great effort today by Godwin. Yeah, absolutely. She, she was part of the comeback. She was she really, I mean, she was pushing the pace there, had a lot of energy. Now they're going to have to try to get it done without her. Cassidy Jones coming in. Big free throw. Williams free throw is good on the one and one. Huge, huge. This is a big free throw too because if she misses this one, Team Red can go down there and get another. Because uh... they got to go quick though. Here we go. Here we go. Quick though. That, uh, they can go for Prada. two here. They don't have to go for the three. Quick shot, come on. Ah, they lost it. They need the shot right there. They're not going to get it as yeah. Team White is going to walk away with a victory here in this showcase game. 72 to 68. <laughs> Team White takes the game. Jalea Williams had her fingerprints all over this one. And what a showcase game we had right here in the City Hoops Classic. Once again, presented by Issa Bucket, City of Hoops, and BayAreaSports.com, Florida Athletics Network with the game. KJ, how did Team White pull this one off? Well, it was, I mean, we saw it. It was led by Gordon and Williams. They, they showcased, they shot well, great out there. Uh, they both played well. They both, you know, they, they both just really dominated this game. And you got to give credit to both players for how they were so in control out there. So once again, 72-68, Team White wins. And we'll be right back with an interview with our most valuable player of today's Girls Senior Showcase game.
rookie, Jalea Williams. And Jalea, how were you able to shoot so well out there today? Um, I was, I could say warm ups. When the clock started, I was trying to get some, started with jump shots, then work my way to threes, get them some layups. And when like, when nobody was here, when the boys was here, I was getting some warm up shots in, so, so I could shoot well tonight. And what is it like? What are some of the emotions you're feeling as your high school career comes to an end? You prepare to go to college. Has it been kind of tough over these last few months to realize that these, a lot of these kind of things that you're doing right now are going to change a lot as you head to college? I mean, it's kind of nervous going into college. I know what I got to do. That's why I'm working now in and out of the gym. I'm staying focused now, getting a little conditioning in. So once I get there, I'll be prepared and ready to go. What are, your, what are some of your favorite things about games like these, playing against this kind of competition? I could say competition, number one, play really good defense. I like her competitive, competitiveness. I like games like this where people play, and then at the end of the day, at the end of the game, she still, you know, said what's up, good game and all that. I like com people and like that. What are you excited about, most excited about next year, in your first year in college? Um, I'm excited about meeting the new girls there so they could show me new stuff I could come Instead of them being new to me, they could become sisters and families to me. All right, Julia, thank you and congratulations, okay? Thank you. That's it for this game and the, uh, the City Hoops Showcase. We'll be right back.